Good morning guys on this beautiful morning again in Kopangan during my lockdown. I say beautiful morning but I know I look like shit. Why do I look like shit? Probably because of this one. My dear friend Lex came by last night and he said, oh Didi let's have a drink. I said okay one and one became two and two became three and four and before you know it whew, the bottle was empty. So that's why I look like shit and that's why I'm not feeling very, very, very energetic this morning. <clears throat> so I need to stop drinking. Wait, I need to check if the camera is on. Yeah, I make these stupid things. First of all, um, I want to start this show today um, with our deepest condolences to uh, Tony Lane Kesselly. Her family, friends and loved ones, she was the co-founder of Cointelegraph and she passed away. So we just want to express our condolences to the family, and friends and wish you all strength in the coming time to cope with this terrible loss of such a great person and with a great mindset in life and in the blockchain industry. So um, our respects. Let's go to the next subject. Um, I was reading the news. Of course, I saw Bitcoin dropping last night, bam, to six and a half. And then I saw Bitcoin going up 10% again <laughs> to seven and a half, seven, eight. I think it wants to find support around the 50 day moving average. Let's see what it does. There's still a big chance we go back to 3K like Arthur Hayes said, but it's also possible we just are going to search for this 8.4K and try to break it so we can slowly get to the level we should be but as you know man I'm not the best TA in crypto and um, I'm more the hodler guy and making some profits now and then yeah just by exchanging Bitcoin to Tether or die and back to Bitcoin and buy some cheap and you know, just this game I use this really cool uh, tool nowadays the tool in trading view um, contact me if you want new more information it's a really cool tool, it works perfectly on the 4 hour chart and it has proven me and brought me some uh, extra profit <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it, it seems to be correct many, many times I think like 90% of the times the tool predicts uh, correct uh, long or short as you know I don't long and short um, with leverage but I just buy and sell Bitcoin at the point or exchange Bitcoin to Tether <clears throat> oh my god, my throat is not optimist. Um, what do I want to speak about that more? Okay, there is one thing which I read was really, really funny. That the banks, <laughs> huge banks in the US, had problems with uh, all the people cashing their stimulus checks. And so now they couldn't cope it and oh, a lot of their systems broke down or had problems. So I don't think that the banks are really scalable, <laughs> you know. Everybody's talking about Bitcoin is not scalable, but the banks, I think they have a real issue with scalability. And you know, that is proven now. When, when we all would agree on one day, wow, let's, uh, let's make it uh, a cash withdrawal day. And we would plan to worldwide withdraw cash at the same time all over the world. I think they would have a huge problem. One, there is not enough cash in their system to even get out of the ADMs. And two, I don't even think their software could handle it. Their software is just too slow and too, um, too unscalable to handle these kinds of uh, amounts of withdrawals. So let's try it once. Here we meet, make, make a national withdrawal day where we all try to withdraw 10% of everything we own on the banks. I can't join you because I don't have a bank anymore, but I would love to see the result. There's one more thing guys that has been, been on my mind the last uh, couple of days, weeks, and I want to discuss this with you and I want your opinion on this. And why your opinion? Because you know, I really care about my followers opinion. So the thing that is on my mind is that, you know, the last few weeks we have seen a few channels being deleted or 
temporarily blocked on YouTube. You know, it was Crypto Crow. I saw uh, Carl the Moon tweeting that he got a strike. I, I saw MM Crypto tweeting that he got a strike and, uh, you know, reaching out for help, uh, that retreat to YouTube that they should not ban these channels. And, and then yesterday I saw Tone Vase. His channel was removed as well. Everything was removed. He, uh, he, he stated on Cointelegraph. And so that's again a crypto influencer whose channel is blocked. I think it's restored again. So there's something wrong probably in YouTube software that sometimes uh, just blocks channels because of Bitcoin. Oh, this this is really cool. This she's making squid. Wait, wait, guys. I will show you. Look, she's cleaning the squids. The squids come from the sea here. The fishermen. Wow. And you can see the black stuff still, like the poison that comes out of the squid. Okay. So, cup and cup. Sorry. Um, so yeah, this, these uh, these channels keep to be, keep be, keep to be blocked and closed down. These guys are all huge YouTubers with influence and many followers, and they all are block crypto blockchain people. So why don't we all use decentralized applications that replace YouTube? I thought we are in front, in the front line of this blockchain revolution. So if we are in the front line of this uh, revolution, why don't we show the blockchain, the crypto community, the power of these decentralized versions of YouTube? Yes, I know that these decentralized versions, you know, will not bring in the income you are used to, but on the other hand, you show the power of blockchain. You show the power of a decentralized version that can never be taken down and that can never delete your content. And still you're able to earn. I, I mean, I, I back up my videos to library, for example, and it really uh, works cool. And I get more and more views on, these, uh, on, this, on this platform. Um, the link is below, so check it. And you know, it's it's this is a blockchain company. This is this is this is the reason we are in this industry. To make sure that there is no central organization that controls all the income we have. Because that is exactly not what we want. And I love YouTube, man. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I grew up with YouTube and my kids love it. And I understand that the the biggest audience at the moment is in YouTube. But on the other hand, I think the biggest audience will stay on YouTube if we never switch. And if the bigger, biggest influencers never switch to a decentralized version of YouTube, this audience will also never go to a decentralized version of social media like YouTube. Maybe, maybe it's not the best idea now to directly skip and, and start your making your videos on, on a de decentralized version. But maybe you can start with the social media. You know, you, uh, there are so many decentralized um, social media apps now coming out, trying to build uh, an audience. Um, you, it, for example, you have Rebuzz. I've been using them uh, the last uh, few weeks. It's really cool. The community is really growing there. There are many more. I will put some more links below. Uh, oh, I forgot one. Um, I, get, I got in like very early. I think there is a Dutch guy uh, behind it, but I forgot the name. I think it's a Sang Sam, but um, I will put a link now somewhere here so you can see which one I mean. <laughs> I've been testing that one as well and it's, uh, it also uh, works really cool. So maybe we should start with like social media and then go to the video uh, part later uh, because I know I know how the monetization of YouTube works and a lot of people make a lot of money and I also know that these uh, uh, big influencers need uh, to earn this money because they are doing a hell of a job and doing a lot of work um, to educate uh, all people around the world in crypto and blockchain. So no, I'm not complaining that those guys are not doing it, 
because I understand we need these guys as well in the industry. And I think if you want to reach the normal audience all over the world, we should use YouTube. But please maybe start using YouTube and library or any other video that, um, that will protect your videos are being lost in the future. Um, and slowly then the centralized versions will lose a little bit more power and at the end they will never block you again because they know that then there could be an audience growing on another um, application. <clears throat> oh my god, thanks Sam. I think that was the last part I want to uh, discuss today. Um, one other thing, I had a really cool interview yesterday with Johnny Litecoin, John Kim and um, Daddy Cool, also known as David from the Litecoin Foundation. The interview was amazing. The interview was uh, was was on the edge. Uh, maybe I said fuck the governments a little bit too much. And maybe the other guys also. But we are just all crypto influencers that are really mad at what is happening at the moment in the world and how how people are at the moment are influenced by mass media and we just don't understand that so many people still believe the governments and the mass media and and the four of us was discussing this yesterday on this beautiful show where i need to appear with a mask um uh, from john kim the show and you know it maybe it was on the edge but i love to live on the edge and i love um, to tease the audience you know what is very important it, it, it's there's a reason why it's called social media it's called social media because it's media created by the people for the people and you don't necessarily need to agree with everything I say or other other influencers say but at least give it a try to understand a different view on aspects in life on news articles or whatever because I think this is the power we need to have as a, as a community. The, the, the power of decentralization and showing a different truth. <clears throat> so if I were you, it's a long interview, it's one and a half hour, but it's, it's packed with information and packed with education and some really cool stuff is being mentioned. And um, so, so I would really watch it if I were you because uh, it's just also a lot of fun <laughs> if you see people getting mad on camera and yelling at the government while well, they will never hear you probably <laughs> on YouTube. But uh, yeah, it's just it was a really cool thing to do. So thank you, John Kim, for uh, inviting me. And I will put the link again under this video so you people can see. There was one thing that came a lot in the chat uh, during this video. And it was, okay, I wish to do the same what Didi is doing, but my wife. I love what Didi is doing, but my wife. Oh my God, it's amazing what he has been doing, but my wife would kill me. I think if I would follow Didi's footstep, my wife would divorce me. <laughs> so the, the word wife came back many times. And the wife seems to be the issue in, li in living this decentralized nomad life, not owning any materialistic stuff and you know <laughs> uh, just living fully on cryptocurrency with all the risks um, among it yes bitcoin went to six and a half k last last yesterday and it went up to seven and a half k do i sleep good yeah i sleep perfectly because i know at the end i i, I only use two and a half thousand three thousand us dollar per month as a family to live all over the world in beautiful houses on the beaches and mountain places everywhere we don't spend more than it's 3k a month so i don't look too far into the future because i want to enjoy every beautiful day so if i know i i can live this next couple of days of our money and the next month um, then that's fine with me and and that's why we don't stress about the future but the wife part is important i had a very supportive wife wait i need to help my daughter because she has a small dog and two big dogs always want to attack the small dog so I, I'm, I'm going to help her. Are the dogs bothering you? No. Jessa, watch out because that one bit him already. Well that one is scared for him. No, no, these two work together. They are the, the, the dog. Yeah, he's game. really scared. Yeah, he's scared. Look, look, he's shivering. What? Because they bite him. What? No, you do, you're not friendly. <laughs> No, they both look friendly, but one of them bit our dog once, and that's really scary. Okay. Kind of up the beach. Now, come, go. 
idiots. So, um, I was talking about my wife, and I need to ter- tell you very honestly, yes, I have a very beautiful wife that supported um, my crazy ideas, but it was not only me, you know, it was in our situation, we just, we just weren't happy anymore with the life we were living. Um, we were living this very materialistic life, buying everything, buying a lot of stuff for our kids and educating our kids that buying stuff would make you happy. And we just had a wrong opinion about life. We, and, and we found out, when I lost my parents, we, we found out that this wasn't making us happy. Our dream was to travel and, and, and to be around our kids 24-7. And at that point, I, I was just working 24-7 and my wife was taking care of the kids I, and there was not this connection anymore between man and wife that, that should be there if you love each other very much. And I loved my kids as well very much, but I didn't spend the time with them that I should spend. And so together, we were not happy with the materialistic wealth accumulating life we were living. So for us, it was a natural flow into a and, and to the situation where we both said to each other, we can't continue life like this. We can't continue leading by example the way we do at the moment. Because we are teaching our kids the complete wrong values of life. And that's why we, ex- we just agreed on, wait, stop, this needs to change. Let's now lead a life where we show the example to our kids how to li- live a happy life without all the materialistic stuff. Really lead by example. I can tell my kids that it's not important to own all that stuff, but I need to show it. Because kids will never just believe words. They need to see your, they need to see their parents live a different life to understand. So that's why we did it. That's why we changed. That's why we are living this simple life now, just to lead by example and show our kids you don't need all the stuff to be happy. And, and you know, if they, if they at a point become filthy rich or whatever, they can make their choice for themselves. Do I want to spend my money on all that stupid stuff that I don't have value in, uh, in after a few weeks? Or do I just want to spend um, money on experiences? They have now seen both lives. So they are equipped with knowledge for the future to choose for themselves and if they should or not should live in a, a materialistic life. And that is what we wanted to do. So that's why it was not that hard to, um, to, to tell my wife uh, or to get my wife involved because she was just uh, same minded like me. We, we have been these connecting souls for a long time and we always seem um, to have the same thoughts about life. We are completely different when she eats different food than I do. She loves different things than I do, but when it comes to values of life, uh, we are um, really the same. So that is the wife part. And if you need any help with your wife, just give me a call, invite us. I come sleep over for a week. You need to pay for the sleeping, for the food, <laughs> maybe even for the flights. But we will spend the week with your wife and we will teach, uh, my wife will tell your wife why we changed. And maybe we slowly convert your wife then into this digital nomad uh, <laughs> blockchain wife, like uh, like our family. and. Um, if you if you pursue the same goal my daughter is standing here so i need to stop the video please share the video like the video give it a thumbs up somewhere hit this bell down here so you will be always uh, noticed when there is a new video and um, say hi jessa hi. say hello audience of youtube <laughs> jessa <laughs> so um thanks again for watching this video sorry i drank too much last night and so probably this was not a good video if the video was better as the, as the other videos <laughs> then uh, shit then i have a problem then i sh- shot, uh, should <laughs> keep drinking uh, but it is not my plan okay thanks again have a very beautiful day live the life to the fullest 24 7 day in day out because that how life should be thanks for watching again guys see you tomorrow Thank you.